You'll often want to use an external monitor to give you a clearer idea of what you're shooting, but if you don't want to be misled, you'll need to calibrate that monitor. First, set your camera to generate bars. Then, hook up the external monitor to the HD-SDI output of the camera, and you're ready to go. The standard white balance for video is 6500 degrees Kelvin. You'll need specialized equipment to check that, so we'll leave it alone. What we can adjust are the brightness, the contrast, the hue, and the saturation. The brightness is set using the pluge. Since it's a bit hard to see on the studio monitor, let's take a look at digital bars. In addition to the full range of colors, these SMPTE bars give you an 80% gray on the upper left, a 100% white on the lower left, and black in the area known as the pluge. Although not necessary, turning off the chroma makes this adjustment easier. First, let's boost the brightness so we can see the bars in the pluge. To make things clearer, let's go to a digital simulation. Remember, first we turn the brightness up. Now, let's crank the brightness back down slowly. The goal is to have the last bar on the right just at the edge of visibility. The next adjustment is contrast, which defines the overall range of light values from full black to full white. Turn your contrast all the way up, and your whites will be blown out, and your grays will become white. Turn contrast down, and everything becomes a medium gray. Look at the 100% white chip, the second from the left on the bottom. Slowly, turn up the contrast until that chip gets to full brightness. Then, back off slightly. Be aware, you may have to go back and readjust the brightness after this. On NTSC monitors, hue is also adjustable. When it goes out of phase, it looks like this, or this. Many people are happy setting hue by eye, making sure that the magenta is really magenta, for instance, and not pink or purple. Monitors often have a blue gun option. In this case, adjust the hue until the difference between the top and bottom parts of each bar disappears, and the bars match in an A-B pattern. When you turn the red and green back on, everything should be set properly. Color saturation, or chroma, is tricky to set accurately by eye. We're going to use ARIB, or HD bars, which make it a bit easier. While the upper bars are set at 75% luminance, the small pairs of bars on the side, about two-thirds of the way down, are set to be fully saturated at 100% luminance. As with other adjustments, crank your chroma way down, and then boost it slowly, stopping when the small outer boxes reach full color. Then back off a little until you can just see the chroma level decreasing. For some people, the blue box will be the easiest place to see those changes. Finally, you're ready to turn off bars and start using your monitor with confidence.